Welcome back, Spirits of Vengeance, to a Ghost Rider v Welcome back to the Ghost Rider Vlog. Today we're going to talk about issue number 63 of the original Ghost Rider line. Uh, the subtitle of this particular book is If the Eyes Destroy Me. Obviously we have a particular enemy that's returning again, and it's more than well overdue. After a little brief uh, opening bit with the Ghost Rider outrunning police, he turns back into Johnny Blaze and allows Johnny to run off uh, having that Ghost Rider vent and he continues to seek his fortune as he continues his nomadic ventures across the countryside. Meanwhile, we have the Orb and a new gang of uh, members who are apparently willing member gang members uh, helping him do a n number of robberies. This one in particular that we're watching is him stealing from an armored truck, to which he is going to use all the uh, proceeds of this particular heist to finally better arm himself. But as he's getting this plan together, we also see Johnny stopping off at a carnival. It had apparently been a while since he'd been at one, but he figured it was a good place to continue practicing and would allow him to get a nice regular paycheck every every week or so. So he decides to join up and uh, quickly shows off in order to help get himself the job. Meanwhile, the orb is at a uh, base for a henchwoman who is apparently a master weapon maker, and she is helping the orb test out his new arsenal while also providing him the arsenal with the huge amount of money he managed to steal from her. Um, to this, he uh, also gets to practice on a couple of Ghost Rider uh, fake robots and uh, manages to destroy both of them with his new arsenal, not only a improved Eye beam, which is three and a half times stronger than what it used to be, but also using a new heat seeking eye missile, which would hopefully be the downfall of the Ghost Rider as he usually was able to evade the eye blasts. Sometime later, Johnny is coming back from having a meal and a break just before the show, only to come back and see two bikers running off from the head of the carnival, uh, stating that they had just been cleaned out by these guys. He quickly gives chase, but is quickly also alluded to the fact that they are not really trying to get away and are in fact luring him into a trap to which he is attacked by the orb. Turning into the Ghost Rider, the Ghost Rider lately has had no patience for anybody and he particularly has very little patience with the orb. Uh, getting back on his bike, he gives chase only to find out about the eye missiles. He tries to dodge them, but they actually manage to hit once. And causing him to fall off the bike and depower it, and is hit again with an onslaught of them. Despite the amount of pain and damage they do, however, they are unable to permanently stop the Ghost Rider, as he starts to pick himself back up and continue the chase yet again. Uh, the orb realizing the folly of his plans, and also further realizing how inhuman the Ghost Rider really is. The Ghost Rider, in a wrath of vengeance, renders uh, the um, orb in his usual swelling of hellfire pain and then also sets the bikes afire that he and his gang were using. He then leaves them to suffer as mortals will to try and find a new place to restock, resupply, and regather themselves. Because despite as much uh, wrath that there is in the Ghost Rider and how much he would love to see these men destroyed, he is also equally as pleased to see him continue his vain hope and struggle to actually destroy him. Thus ends our issue, a rather bleak one for the last issue in 1981, uh, although a very interesting one. We get to uh, see another update with the orb. He's actually been thinking about some of his previous downfalls and actually tries to come up with a decent plan, and it almost looks like it works until the Ghost Rider starts to recover. Obviously, his hellish ability is giving him a healing factor, which we also see throughout the artwork as less and less of those flame spots are seen as the comic continues. Also, nice to note that uh, they don't really hint at anything for next time, which means that they 
either really don't have a plan or they want to keep something very hush hush into their chest. Uh, I would also add that we are down to the last two years of the original show, uh, the original comics run. So within the next 24 episodes, so within the next 24 weeks, we will for sure be seeing the end of this. Actually, double checking this, actually we have 18 more episodes. So in 18 more weeks, we'll actually see the very end of the original Ghost Rider run. So over the next 18 weeks, it'll be fairly important to tune in, I think, as we're going to get some major revelations, and finally the last true plot twist and turn in this particular franchise, which will end the Ghost Rider for about seven years. So stay tuned, everyone, and we'll see you all next time.